guys, welcome back to another episode of Bake In, where I'm baking in my flat. So today, we're going to be making my favorite dessert of all time when I go out to eat, and that is creme brulee. Our twist on it today is we're going to make it a chai creme brulee. So let's get started. So to start, we're going to infuse the cream, which is a double cream, whipping cream or heavy cream, whatever you guys can find in the stores. Not single cream and not 2% milk. Has to be heavy because you need it for the richness in a creme brulee. What we're going to do is infuse it with those really nice spices from chai. Basically, you don't want to bring it to a boil. You don't want to burn the cream because cream has a tendency to actually boil over if it's too hot. And that's not what we want here. You want it to just infuse the spices when it's nice and warm and they release their delicious, delicious flavors. So to start, I'm going to put some black tea, fennel seeds, which I absolutely love, half a cinnamon stick, and I've just lightly crushed some fresh cardamom pods so that I can actually get to the seeds inside and they'll infuse beautifully. This is probably one of my favorite spices ever. I love it. And just a little bit of vanilla, and then just give this a stir just so that it incorporates. So I'm not using too much black tea because I don't want to really change the color too much. I can already start to smell it. It smells beautiful. Welcome to my new kitchen. I am in a different kitchen. Yes, I did move. Yes, I'm safe. Everyone's safe. Everything's okay. It's a little bit smaller, but it does the trick. I love, love chai flavors. Being Indian, I mean, we grew up with it, drinking it all the time at night, afternoon tea, whatever it was. So these are very, very special spices to me. So I've got some really nice wisps of steam here, so I know it is nice and hot. And I'm just gonna take this off to let it cool for a little bit, just steep for a bit, infuse that flavor that much further. All right, so the cream has been infusing for about five minutes. So it's got that lovely aroma all the spices. Mm -mm -mm. What we're going to do is now we're going to strain it and then we'll take this off to the side. So now that the cream is done, we're going to make the egg part of it, which is four egg yolks and one whole egg. The one whole egg is going to add with the white a little bit more tenderness and creaminess to the creme brulee rather than it being so rich and heavy. So to this, we're going to add half a cup of sugar. I'm just going to whisk these all together just until the sugar and eggs are all mixed through. Perfect. And then what we're gonna do is I'm only gonna add a little bit of the cream mixture to the eggs because it is hot. I don't wanna scramble the eggs. So by adding a little bit at a time, you temper the eggs so that they get to the same temperature rather than scrambling them because nobody wants scrambled eggs in their creme brulee. No thanks. Let's start with that. And then I'll just pour it in as I whisk. Perfect. And that is a creme brulee mix. Easy. I'm telling you guys, so easy to make. <sighs> All right, so what we're gonna do now is now that we've mixed all the eggs together with the cream mixture, it's actually really smelling deliciously like chai. I'm so excited. I'm actually gonna strain it one more time because I wanna make sure that I don't get any of the egg yolk clumps. There is like a foam that you can see. You don't want too many bubbles on top. You want a flat layer for your creme brulee. And can you see those bits now? So that's the stuff we didn't want in our creme brulee. So we got rid of it. So what I've got here is I've got four ramekins that I've actually placed into a baking tin because we're going to bake them as a bain-marie, which means in a water bath, so that they cook really evenly. So I've got my double strain mixture here and I'm just going to use a ladle. If you have a measuring jug, even better. I don't have one. And the good thing about these is that they don't actually rise in the oven, they just set. So if you fill them quite close to the top, it's totally fine. This makes enough for four six ounce ramekins. All right, so here's another little trick. So what we're gonna do to get rid of any extra of the big bubbles that are on top, because you want a really smooth layer, use a paper towel, just the corner. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna tap the bubbles and they'll disappear. So satisfying. So what I've done is I've boiled the kettle and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this up halfway up the side. And then very carefully slide it into a preheated oven at 160 degrees. I'm going to cook them for about 30 minutes until they're just set and wobbly in the center still. And that's it. And now we wait patiently. And then we have to wait some more because they need to cool to room temperature and then we need to chill them in the fridge for two to four hours at least. So let's go read a book. <laughs> My oven was on the completely wrong setting. I mean, it is jiggly, but the top cooked really weirdly. The oven was on a weird setting. The plumber came around and, I mean, it's, that's not right. I'm gonna go make some more. We'll be back with proper creme brulees cooked in a proper oven at the right temperature. Wish me luck. All right, so I've just taken them out of the oven after about 30, 32 minutes of cooking. 
And so I'm gonna take them out of the bain marie very carefully. That's not gonna work. One at a time. I'm just gonna put them on a cooling rack to cool for a couple minutes, and then I'm gonna put them right in the fridge. So you can see they're still a little bit wobbly, which means you're gonna have a really nice custardy center. There we go. Perfect. And then they need to sit in the fridge for at least four hours. So I'm gonna let these guys chill out, and then we're gonna top them with sugar and brulee them, and they're gonna be really delicious. And I can't wait to enjoy them. See you in a bit. All right, so the creme brulees have been chilling and they are now nice and set. As you can see, they're not going anywhere. They've got a little bit of a skin on top, which is perfect. Put the sugar on and then we're gonna brulee it. I'm gonna use a blowtorch, but if you don't have one, you can use your oven. Just keep a really, really close eye on it when you're grilling or broiling, because it can burn really quickly. Let's brulee these guys. I'm super excited. This is my most favorite part, besides eating it. All right, so just a little bit of sugar. Don't need too much. I'm gonna do is just kind of shake it about. So now, fun part. Here we go. Oh yeah. And just keep it moving. Don't hold it over one spot, because if you do, it will really burn in that one spot. You want it to be really, really golden. Gosh, sugar is just amazing. This is so much fun. Just some little bits on the corner that I really want to get completely caramelized. That's it. Gotta let it sizzle. Look at that. Mm. So at this point, you kind of just want to let it sit for a couple minutes. The sugar will harden completely as it cools, and then you'll get that nice smashing. So excited. All right, guys, so it is set and ready. And if you can hear how crispy that is, that's ready to eat and crack. So my most favorite part, whenever I went out to restaurants, I think my brother and I would fight over who got to crack the creme brulee because uh, it was just so much fun and it still is to this day. I mean, it never gets old. So here we go. Ready? Right in the middle. Ah, uh, yeah! Look at that! So creamy. Look at that. Guys, I'm so excited right now. The flavor of chai is phenomenal. It's not too sweet. It's a little subtle. The caramel on top. The creme brulee is so creamy. Can you see that? Guys, I'm literally in dessert heaven. I have recreated what I love going out to eat. Now we don't really get to go out to eat, so might as well bring it home and this is it. This is it. I mean, make a creme brulee, infuse it with whatever spices you want, if you want, or just make it plain without the spices, a little bit of vanilla for the traditional one and oh my God. This is delicious. I think I have a tear in my eye, I'm so, I'm so happy right now. It's so good. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Bake In with Tara. Hope you guys enjoyed these creme brulees as much as I am right now. See you guys soon and stay tuned for the next episode. Until then, enjoy. Oh my God.